At some point in life, every young man must answer this question. Am I truly a man? Here is the harsh reality. If you follow society's advice on manhood, you will end up being weak and feminine with low testosterone. There's a reason why our ancestors had much more testosterone than the current generation of modern men. Not only that, but their bones were much stronger too. Listen, it has always been hard to transition from a boy into a man, but it has now become harder than ever before, especially if you don't have a strong father figure to guide you. Because of this, a lot of men in the modern world are easily misguided and deceived. You'll come across terms like toxic masculinity, but there is no such thing as toxic masculinity. It is a term made up by the feminist movement to shame men. It could even be made up by people above the feminist movement to weaken and control society. But that's beyond the scope of this video. In this video, we will discuss five masculine traits that separate men from boys. Number one, mental toughness. A man must know how to endure pain and suffering in silence. We all experience pain in one way or another, whether mentally or physically. The reality is, there is no free lunch for men, and more often than not, there is no one to fall back on. There is no crying and expecting people to care or feel sorry for you if you are a man. That luxury is reserved for women and children only. The modern world will tell men it's good to cry. The opposite is true. If you break down crying, there's a good chance other men will lose respect for you, and women will also lose attraction for you. I'm not saying you can never cry. We are all human, and there are moments when it cannot be helped. For instance, during the passing of a loved one. But remember, if you have problems to deal with and the pressure becomes overwhelming, crying won't solve anything. You won't get any mercy or pity by doing so. It will only signal to other people that you are not capable of handling your problems. So what do you do instead? You cannot navigate the harsh realities of life without mental toughness. So you must learn to endure the pain and suffering as a man. Boys may have the luxury of avoiding responsibilities when things get tough, but men don't have that option. A man has to stay resilient, confront challenges head on, and avoid falling into despair or relying on unhealthy coping mechanisms. If you choose not to take responsibility and don't step up to the plate regardless of how tough things get, you will face the consequences. If there ever comes a moment where you feel the need to cry, make sure it is in private or in the company of very close brothers who you can trust. You might think this is toxic, but it is the reality of life as a man. However, this doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Diamonds are forged under intense pressure. And just like diamonds, it's the pressure and suffering that creates strong men that others can count on. Number two, a capacity for violence. The world can be a dark place and there are people that will do evil things you can't even imagine. That is why every man needs to have the capability to be violent. Not just for his own sake, but also for the sake of his loved ones. Every man has a duty to protect himself and his loved ones. You cannot be peaceful unless you're capable of violence. If you are not capable of violence, you are not peaceful, but harmless. This means that people can do whatever they want to you and those you care about without consequences. Here is the truth. When a guy doesn't know how to throw a punch or defend himself physically, he will feel a sense of inadequacy. It's a primal instinct all men have. Many guys will pretend they are too ethical to be dangerous. But the reality is that it's nothing more than a pathetic excuse to avoid the hard work and discipline it takes to become physically capable. They will say things like, I'm against violence, so I would never get into a fight. It is cowardice disguised as morality. A coward is more pro-violence than the warrior because a coward will never attempt to stop violence if it comes his way. If you are truly against violence, then you understand how important it is to be strong and dangerous. The truth is, being physically capable is about personal responsibility and being prepared for the harsh realities of life. It's not about promoting violence. It's about ensuring you have the skills and confidence to handle dangerous situations if they arise. Remember, a warrior prays for peace but prepares for war. Number three, risk tolerance. Nothing of significant value was ever achieved without taking risks, so learn to take risks. Life is a constant journey of taking risks and learning from failures. It's through these experiences that boys become men. Once you start to see some success, it creates a ripple effect that shifts how boys view themselves. They begin to realize that it's within their own power to create the life they want, and that's powerful. Quit thinking you have to do stuff just for the sake of doing it. Stop living someone else's life and start living your own. 
Find your creative potential that lives within you and take the risks needed to go out there and make your dreams a reality. Number four, responsibility. Men take responsibility for their actions and their lives. They don't blame others for their problems or wait for someone else to fix things for them. Boys, on the other hand, often avoid responsibility and seek excuses. I know it can be scary to assume full responsibility for anything, let alone our lives. We are conditioned to shift blame and make excuses when things don't work out the way that we hoped. But know this, if you continue to shift the blame for your failures, you will never learn or grow from them. Taking complete responsibility comes with the weight that most aren't willing to carry. But you must carry that weight in order to become a man. Listen, we all have a finite amount of time here on this earth. And for that reason, time is our most valuable asset. Moreover, none of us know how much time we have left so do not waste it. Many guys like to waste their time pointing fingers and pretending to be someone they're not. Listen. Living an inauthentic life and constantly blaming others and circumstances for our dissatisfaction is not only a waste of time, but also a recipe for perpetual unhappiness. To take control of your life, there are four things you must understand. First, you must stop blaming people and circumstances. Second, you need to understand what is within your control and what is not. Third, you must take accountability for everything that's within your control. Lastly, you should avoid discussing your problems unless your focus is on finding solutions. When you understand how to take responsibility, you will stop making excuses and take control of your life. Number 5. Testosterone Testosterone is the single most important hormone that influences your dominance and masculinity. Any man with very low testosterone is essentially a mere shell of the man he could be. Just look at the change in behavior seen in domestic house cats when they undergo reproductive neutering. Once a male cat has its reproductive capabilities removed, it often undergoes several noticeable changes. It tends to gain weight, become less active, and even lazy. Moreover, its drive and vigor seem to dissipate entirely. It's a tangible example of how hormonal changes can dramatically alter a man's behavior. In the modern world, we face numerous challenges and habits that can significantly lower our testosterone levels on a daily basis. Addressing these issues and taking proactive steps to naturally boost testosterone levels is essential for any man looking to optimize his masculinity and assertiveness. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to make a video discussing some habits that negatively impact a man's testosterone levels and the most effective ways to increase yours. With that said, don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.